Most of us come from places where the closest we get to a fresh vegetable is a, you know, a pickle on a hamburger. When I was growing up, I remember eating cold cuts and pizza. But my mom always prepared dinner, and a lot of families in the city, they don't really have that experience. When I fed myself when I was on my own, I would typically buy processed food. I didn't really know a lot about what was fresh food and what wasn't fresh food. The mess hall food is basically industrialized, and each prison just reheats the food. We eat in a whole bunch of soy-based products. We don't really get real healthy food anymore. So it's food justice. We didn't have access when we were in the street, and even now we still don't have access. My perspective on the garden, it's gonna give me an opportunity to eat things that I ordinarily wouldn't have eaten. Like they, I think something called bok choy or bok chow, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but they keep talking about growing it. Now we have a whole bed out there full of bok choy. Actually eating it was great. My cooking partner, is a Korean guy. He's the one that cooked it up in a nice lo mein, and I think it kind of took him back. It made him feel a little bit more connected with something that he's been separated with since he's been in prison. Before the garden, I mean, organic was just another word for, to me. It was just another label on food. And after this program, there's a lot of guys that really want to eat healthy, but a lot of us won't be able to actualize that until we go home.